One thing most great men have in common is their love for books. Do you know why they love to read? It's simple. They are curious men. So, yes, their curiosity led to their greatness. Everyone who sets out to seek knowledge always finds greatness as the end goal. The thing about books and reading is that they cover a variety of subjects. It doesn't always have to be about money. No, you can read about family, relationships, career growth, or even about other great men. So in this video, I'll share with you 13 books every man should read. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene In this book, the author, Robert Greene, a fantastic researcher and storyteller, explains timeless truth with stories and examples. If living life on your terms, climbing as high as you'd like to go, and avoid being controlled by others is your lifelong dream, then The 48 Laws of Power is a book you should consider reading. The book contains many actionable lessons, including learning what to do in many trying and confusing situations. A new law that you should master as a young man is to always say less than necessary. Always ask yourself, am I saying this because I want to prove how smart I am, or am I saying this because it needs to be said? If your goal is to learn to take charge of your life, then you should read this classic piece. 2. The Book of Five Rings by Miyamoto Musashi Miyamoto Musashi explains how to outthink and outmove your enemies in this book. It is more than just a manual of swordsmanship. It is about the mindset, the discipline and the perception needed to win in life and dead situations. Using his experience as a swordsman, Musashi fought mostly by himself and for himself. His wisdom in this book is precisely what most of us need every day to overcome challenges. 3. The Power of the Other by Dr. Henry Cloud I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the famous Jim Rohn's quote that says, you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Well, this book, The Power of the Other, takes it a step further by establishing the fact that you are also the result of the quality of relationship you have with those people. So here's a question for you. Do you know the difference between a healthy and unhealthy relationship? Besides, when last did you analyze the relationships in your life? Well, the truth is, whether we like it or not, the quality of the relationships we have with others will either limit or multiply our efforts. Dr. Henry Cloud explains the four types of relationships that we all have. While the first three have neutral or negative influences in our lives, the fourth is the only genuine beneficial relationship in which transparency, connection, and trust are exceptional. This book will help you analyze your relationships, increase the quality of your interactions. 4. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill this 1937 self-improvement classic has helped several people improve their lives since its publication. The author, Napoleon Hill, shares 13 principles that will help you succeed and become wealthy after 20 years of studying some of the most successful people of his time. Think and Grow Rich is a guide that can help you explore your potential and start executing your goals entirely. 5. Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson Walter Isaacson explores the roller coaster life and intense personality of a creative entrepreneur whose passion and drive for perfection revolutionized six industries, personal computers, animated movies, music, phones, tablet computing, and digital publishing. The book is based on over 40 interviews with Jobs over the space of two years, as well as interviews with more than 100 family members, friends, adversaries, competitors, and colleagues. Six. The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg You see, habits are at the foundation of everything that we do. In this book, Charles Duhigg explains how our habits work with our brain and how they form who we are. For instance, how do you know that specific triggers motivate our habits? So, recognizing these triggers can help us get rid of our negative habits. Not only does the book stop at the point of exploring how our habits form who we are, but also shows you how habits impact businesses and your purchasing behavior. This knowledge can help you reflect on your spending habits, social habits, and personal habits. According to the author, Charles Duhigg, the difference of who you are and who you want to be is what you do. 7. The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Klassen Yes, life isn't all about money, but like it or not, money is essential. We really can't talk about growth without mentioning finances. Money helps you to purchase or get the things that bring joy in life without restriction. The book. The Richest Man in Babylon is about understanding money and, of course, making your money work for you. It starts with a straightforward concept of paying yourself. Take $1 of every $10 that you make and save it. 
When your savings increase, your chance to take advantage of investment opportunities increases as well. When those investments pay off, your money multiplies and you do it again. Rinse, wash, repeat. When you invest, you allow your money to grow and work for you. After a series of investments, you can take the money and use it to do those things you've dreamt of doing for a long time. However, to make this happen, it means that you have to learn to live below your means. Now, that is the hardest part of it all. However, if you apply what you learn in this book, you will notice a difference in your finance, confidence, and even your relationship. 8. As a Man Thinketh by James Allen Again, everything a man is or becomes starts from his mind. Our thoughts are the foundation of what we do, and what we do in return becomes who we are. According to the author, James Allen, knowing that your thought is who you are, it is to take good care of what you think because your thoughts become things. When you manage your thoughts, you manage your actions. When you manage your actions, you manage who you become. 9. The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth by John C. Maxwell The reputable author, John C. Maxwell, breaks down the principles, laws and actions that have helped him achieve the levels of success that he has today. It's a book about the series of steps you need to discover your potential and grow by learning each day. 10. Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor E. Frankl Friedrich Nietzsche, a German philosopher and cultural critic, once said that he who has a why to live can bear almost anyhow. How do you convince yourself that life is still worth living after going through a series of pain, including losing your mother, brother and wife? The author, Viktor E. Frankl, survived five different concentration camps only because he chose to focus on the purpose of his life. Reading this book will help you look within to find out what drives you. Discovering this purpose will help you apply a different perspective of the world. It is a situation of what is worth living for is worth dying for as well. 11. Mastery by Robert Greene According to Robert Greene, become who you are by learning who you are. The competitive nature of man mostly pushes them towards greatness while striving for the next challenge. While this isn't a terrible thing, you can focus your energy on something even more productive, which is mastery. Mastery is being the best at what you do. To do that, you have to first of all find out what you want to do, get a mentor, and focus on the process afterwards. However, it is vital to bear in mind that the process of mastery isn't overnight. It takes time, patience, and effort. 12. Deep Work – Rules for Focused Success in a Distracted World by Carl Newport How can you improve your productivity and make your life more meaningful? In this book, Carl Newport suggests helpful and immediately applicable ideas that can help anyone achieve that, including ways for determining what important work actually is for you. 13. All the Money in the World what the Happiest People Know About Wealth by Laura Vanderkam Every one of us wants to be rich. We all want to have a lot of money, but in the end, it's not just about money. It's about spending it in ways that brings you happiness, satisfaction, or comfort. And that's not as easy as it sounds. So, what new money habits should you develop to accomplish this goal? Laura Vanderkam highlights these habits in this book. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, Watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.